Hi guys, it's Promi Sebastian here again with another awesome Blender tutorial. Okay, so we are going to be learning how this work cycle was created. So when I wanted to animate this character, I checked online to kind of get a tutorial on how to get this kind of a rubber-like animation for the character. But then I didn't get one. I just used some that are close to it and then I actualized it. But then I needed to share with some people that might want to do some kind of a a character like this and then animate it to give it this kind of rubber like feel okay so this tutorial is going to cover this rubber like motion and then rigging a character that is no human eye that is uh, moving like a rubber like movement you get and then it's also going to cover bendy bones and how to use them because that's basically what we are going to be using throughout the rigging process of this character okay so guys with that said we're going to be starting so if you're new to blender you want to get going on blender you can try checking out my course here on blender it covers blender modeling animation and then sculpting as well okay so back to blender so i'm going to delete this now to start up with a new project now so i'm going to click the space bar to pause this down and then i'm going to go for, over to file and then new file file and then new and then general i'm going to click the general i don't want to save i just i will just click don't save so i have the default cube there so i'm going to click delete now to delete the cube and then i'm going to import the character don't worry if you need the character the character is in the description link so you can get the flower character in the description link and then as well the course if you need it you can get it in the description link as well okay now i'm going to head over to find i'm going to go over to import so i'm going to import it because it's an obj file and then head over to flow that's where the, uh, the file is and then global mesh remesh that's the name of the file and then import obj so it has imported it on my scene already so i'm going to zoom out and then click on the flower now and then x and then drag my mouse inward to kind of scale it a little bit okay so we have the flow but now we have the character what i can do now i will right click now and then shade smooth so it's going to be looking so it's looking very smooth like this now so this is great now so let's start rigging the character so i'm going to use the y plane view now so i'll click on this gizmo here that's minus y now so this is the y flat view okay so now i'm going to click shift a now i want to add a bone so i'm going to head over to amateur now bones are named as amateur so i'm going to go over to basic now and then i will scroll down to basic human meta rig so i'll click on this basic human meta rig now and then what i would always want to do when i add a, a skeleton like this is make it to be in the front so i'm going to be seeing it as i'm working okay so i'm going to hold over to this kind of um amateur icon there on my right here and then click on it now and then head over to viewport now and then click in front so check this in front now so once i check this in front now the bone will always be in front so i'll click g now to grab this guy place it at the center here now so now i will start editing this bone now so now head over to the edit mode now from object to edit mode so now we are in edit mode we can start editing this bone so but to make things fast now you have to check the symmetry here this x icon there it can only symmetrize on the x as is this this time around you don't have y and z it's just x so make sure you are on your x axis when mirroring like when you are working on this make sure you're on your x axis so that it's going to mirror properly okay now i've, I've checked the x mirror now so this is going to speed up the workflow for me so i'm going to scroll in now and then delete this these bones these whole bones now click on this one as well then click on delete that's delete on my keyboard and then left click then it deletes that one as well i'm going to click on this one and hold shift and click on this other one delete now so i just need two bones now this one for the whole hand and then this one for the shoulder okay so this is not a humanoid character so the movement is going to be quite different so i'm going to click on this top bone there and then hold shift and click on this other one and then click on delete again on my keyboard and then left click and then it deletes the bone now so now we'll start arranging this now so we'll delete this one as well we'll delete this front one as well so i'll click on this now hold shift and click on this other one delete and then it deletes it for me so look at where the skeleton is and then look at where the character is now so what we can do now is we will exit this edit mode now so i'll click on the mode there and then click on object mode drag this now press g to grab it and then click y now and then drag to the front and make sure it's in there or put it at the center of the character so here is great now so i'll use the y click on the gizmo there and then it gives me the y flat view now so now let me start editing the bones i've deleted the ones i don't need now so i can also delete these these other spine bones these ones i won't be needing them as well so let's head over to edit mode again and then left click on this other one left click on this one as well so we'll click delete now to delete the bones
Okay, so now I'm gonna drag this one now, G to grab it and bring it close to you. And then left click on the top of this other bone and then G to grab it, C to constrain it on the Z axis. And then left click on this other, the bone there, then G to grab it to place it at the center. Then left click on the top of this other bone now, and then G to grab it, Z to constrain it to the Z axis and then grab it up. Now, so this is great. Now, so let's start adjusting these bones. Let me use the Y flat view again. Okay, so now click on this bone now, click on this other one. Due to the symmetry is on now. If I'm if I press G9 to grab the other one by the right. So I'm going to draw this guy down now. Then I will click on the top there, G to grab this guy here. Left click on this other one, G to grab it here. Left click again. And then left click on this one, G to grab it somewhere there. Okay, so this is great now. So I will left click on this other one now, G to grab it and then bring it somewhere there. Okay, bring this one somewhere there. And then left click on this other one. That's the tip of the bone. G to grab it, Z to constrain it to the Z axis. And then I'm going to left click on this one, G to grab them closer there. And then this one is okay now. So now let's do for the hand. I will left click on this bone now, G to grab it there, place it there. And then arrow to rotate and then rotate. That's kind of drag my mouse to rotate. And then G to grab it there, left click, left click on the top, on the tip there, G to grab and then grab to the extreme there, left click on this other one, G to grab and then grab it to kind of meet this uh, joint here and then left click on this one, on the tip there, G to grab it to kind of bring it down and then left click on these whole bones now, let's left click on the tip of this one and drag it down, C and then drag it down and then left click on that other one, G to grab them here and left click on this one, G to grab it here. Okay, so this is great now for this character. So let's see the uh, X flat view and see whether it's kind of properly placed. Okay, I think it's not really it's not really centered. So I'm going to exit this edit mode now to object mode and then grab this guy and I'll make sure it's at the center. So here I think it's cool now. So what we can do now is change from this orthohedra bone type or display type to B bone. Okay, B bone means bendy bone. So now we we'll change from this display type in viewport, and then on this amateur icon there. Once it's clicked now, you head over to viewport, and then open it, and then from this display as octahedra, we we'll change from octahedra to B bone. So now it's now looking like six, and this is the best bone I've, I've used so far. I love using it; it gives me the best result. So now we can scale this whole bone now. I head over to edit mode now. So we will scale it general and then we'll scale the individual ones that will feel like that need scaling. So I'll click A now to select all the bone and then I can control Alt X at the same time and then drag my mouse to kind of scale all of them. Okay, so I'm scaling all the whole bone. So I'll left click now if I'm okay with this case. So I think this is great now. So, but then these ones are okay for the legs. The hand is not really scaled as I want. The, the uh, spine as well is not really scaled as I want. And then this head bone is not really, neck bone is not really, head and neck bone is not really scaled as I want. So now I'm going to click on this one as well and then Control Alt X and then drag, kind of scale these ones around there. It's okay. So I can scale this hand a little more. Control Alt X and then scale it a little more. And then let me use the white flat view. And then I can click on this tip, the tip of the bone and then drag it to kind of place it in the same, in line on center with this other one. So this is great now. So now I can scale this head bone as well. Control Alt X and then drag and make it bigger somewhere there. And then these other ones we need scaling. Hold Shift, Shift and then Shift and then left click, Shift and then left click. And then Control Alt X and then drag to scale these ones very big. I think I will scale these ones down. So I will left click on this. I will Shift, left click, Control Alt X and then scale this one down. Okay, so this is great now to scale. This is looking awesome now. Okay, so I'll use the white flat view again now this time. So I'll left click on this one because I want this one to bend and I want this one to bend as well. But if I press G now and grab this guy, you can see that this guy is not connected to this guy. But I will need this guy to connect to this guy so that when I start doing the deformations, it's going to join to this one. So you might not really get what I mean, but just follow. When we are done, you understand it better. So now hold shift. I will left click on this one now and then hold shift now and then left click on this other one and then control P to parent it. So it's parented already, but then it's not connected. So if you click Control P now, you will now see connected. So, and then I'm going to click on that connected. So they are now connected now. So this is great. I can then left click on the tip of this bone G to grab it. So it's balanced like this now. So this is great now. So let's start adding the number of B bones we need now. 
So we head over to the bone we want to add the divisions of bone. So I can head over to here this bone icon this time around. So see bendy bones option. So we can change the number of segments. So the more the number of segments, the more um bendy the bone is gonna be. Okay. Okay, so before this now, so we will need to extrude that handle bones now for this whole rig now because we need handles to control this whole rig. So I'm going to click on the tip of this other one now and then it will extrude and extrude at the handle bone there and then head over to the head here, head bone. It will extrude, extrude at the handle, head bone and then do the same for the leg as well. I click on that, it will extrude, extrude at the handle there. So I'm going to click on this one now. I want to rotate this guy a little bit now. So what I can do now is now I'm going to name all these handle bones because the naming will be very, very important. So what I can do now is click on the tip of this bone now and then head over to, you see the bone, this bone icon is selected. So this spine is named the spine bone, but I don't want it to be spine. I want it to be head hand, that's head handle. So I can just click on head. And then I could just click on head and then D and then put H to mean the handle and then I'm going to click the same for this one now that that will be the left and then H enter and then this other one is going to be the same right right and then and then enter and then this other one we're going to name it the same and then this other one is still going to be leg then we'll put the L to signify the left and then H to mean the handle. Okay, so I'm going to click on this other one. This one is going to be the same leg and then arrow to mean the right and then H to mean the hand. So we'll actually name the whole handle bones. So this naming is very, very important because when we want to make this guy the controller of this bone, you understand why we name this. So it will be easy for us to identify the bone. Now I've added the handle bones now. So now it's time for us to start adding the segments of the bone. That's the number of bones that number of bendy bones that each of the bone is going to have because it's the number of bones that makes it bendy okay now i'm going to i'm going to select this one and change the number here from one to ten and then enter it changes this one from here type in then as well enter it changes the number and then from here again you can change from one again to ten enter it changes the number then from this one again one to ten enter so you can see that the the bone is now looking kind of bent. Don't worry, we'll correct this. Let's let's change the segment. Let's change all the whole segment. So all the whole bones will be needing to do this whole stuff. We'll be changing the segment. So I'll type in ten now. Changes this one, this one as well. Number of segment ten. Enter. Then this one as well. We we'll still have to have some segment. Number of segment as well ten. Enter. And then the bones now. All the whole bones now now has segment. And now, if I try to move these bones now in this edit mode, you're going to see what it's going to look like. So you see now, it's not kind of bendy and kind of curvy, but it's not really going how it should go. It's kind of curving too much. So now, for this one, I told you guys that will be corrected. So we can correct the bone row of this one. The bone row of this one is not correct. That's why it's kind of bent this way. So what you can do is just select the bone now. Head over to Armature. Head over to scroll down to Bone Row. Then select set rule. If I kind of drag my mouse out now, you see the bone is rolling. If I kind of drag it, it looks like as if it's, squeal, it's squeezing. That's what it means. So if you are rolling the bone, you are changing the face normal, the face normals. You are changing them from any axis that we are in. Okay, so let me just drag this guy here. I think this is correct now. So this is great now. We've corrected that now. So now let's start making this now much more better. Okay, so let's move over to pose mode now. And then if I try to move this guy now, so you see what is moving. This guy is kind of stiff here. It can't move. So what we can do now is head over to edit mode now. All these handle bones now. So we are going to clear all the whole parents on all these handle bones so they are free to move. So that when we drag them, they can move. Then I'm going to click Alt P now. Clear parents. This one is cleared. Then this one again. Alt P. Clear parents. It's cleared. Then on this one again, Alt P. P, clear parent is cleared on this one again. Alt P and then clear parent as well. Let's check this one whether it's cleared as well. You know, we are actually mirroring it's clear parent. So it's cleared now. So if I press G now, this you can see that the bones are free to move. Okay, so now let's start adding the constraints as well. So if I try to move, let me head over to pose mode now. 
if I try to move this spine, now this is the spine. So if I try to move it, so you see all the whole bones are moving together. If you do inverse kinematics, you see that when you move the spine bones, it's going to be affecting almost all the whole bones. And then it's not doing the same here. So to do that now, what we can do now is head over to this bone now. We now we are in pose mode now. You can click on this bone first, click on this one last, and then shift control C. So we can do this manually by just clicking on this bone, hold, clicking on this one, holding shift and clicking on this one, heading over to the pose mode, heading over to add bone constraint and then stretch to. And then once you once you do it manually, you you don't clicking on these ones now will still not add um the constraints on the bone automatically than when you click the shift control c so if you do it manual now you have to take the target now which is this meta rig now click on it and then select the bone you want it to be the uh which is stretching to so we'll select the left handle which will name this so if you click on this bone now g to grab you see now it's now stretching as we want it to stretch now and this is actually great the best way is just select on this bone now both shift and then select on this other one then you click shift control c now and then just click on stretch to and then it does everything automatically so if i press g now everything is now in place so we'll do same for this other top one select the handle first hold shift and select on the main bone then shift control c now and then add stretch to so if i click this guy now so you see it's kind of actually bending so we'll make this guy the handle as well of this one so head over to this now, head over to this other bone. Let's head over to edit mode now. Select this is the bone we need, the handle. So the bendy bone and handle absolute. And then we we'll change to right. Right handle. And then this one now, I think this bone is very big. I can select on this one now, then control alt X and then scale the bone down a little. I think somewhere somewhere here is great. Okay, so we'll do same for the handle of this one as well. So we'll click on this other bone, change automatic to absolute, select the head handle that I named, named there. So we'll do same for this one as well. Select this one, then head over from absolute to, from automatic to absolute now. And then the bone will be the leg, the leg, and then this one will be right. Okay, this is the left now for this one then click on this other one on the abs uh, automatic change to absolute click on the handle there change to absolute and then the bone will be this amount will be the leg right handle leg right handle then we are good to go now so let's add the same stretch constraint on this one so we'll click on we'll whatever to pose mode now and then we'll click on this down bone and then hold shift and click on this other one then shift control c now then stretch through and then do same for this one as well. Click here, hold shift and click on this other one, then shift control C and then stretch to. So now we can now parent this whole thing to this uh, flubber mesh now. So what I can do is just click on the flubber mesh. Let's exit this pose mode to object mode. Click on the flubber mesh, hold shift now, and then click on the bone and then control P and then parent with automatic weights. Once you are, you've done this now, so you're actually done. So if I click on pose mode now, and then click on the handle then and press G now so you see the hand can move now and then it's moving that kind of curved way and then if I click on this one now, and then press G now it's kind of moving in that curved way so if I click on this spine now and then you see it's kind of going to dance and dance and dance and that okay so guys this is it about this tutorial thanks for watching if you did learn something on this tutorial was helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button and as well if you're new to blender you might now as well check out my course on blender it's a it's a complete guide on blender so Thanks for watching guys. See you on my next tutorial.